Hey, this is our Godot Maze C++ tutorial. We're going to be using both Godot and Visual Studio today, so open up your project and Godot. I'm going to switch back and forth once in a while. Godot, we had our guy in a box and an exit. And in Visual Studio, we're going to be working on root. And we never did the zooming for the mouse wheel, so let's do that quick. We're just going to grab a vector2 result from getting the existing zoom level. So we want to use our camera pointer, which is on player. So player pointer and then camera pointer and then get zoom. So that's the existing zoom and then we just want to change it. We're going to have X and Y zoom levels always be the same. So we're going to change it to be 10 times 10 over 9. So it'll be about 11% increase in zoom. And then we want on the other side to do the same thing getting the zoom. And then we want to set the vectors x and y to be times 0.9 instead. And then we need to set the zoom back. So we are going to do our player pointer and then the camera pointer, set zoom, and the vector that we just changed. And we're going to do that in both cases. And that's all we really need. But we can add, let's add a cap to how far you can zoom out. So if our zoom level is greater than 1.25, then we will set it to 1.25. We could do the same for zooming in and set some lower threshold, but you get the point. You can do it yourself if you'd like. And then let's run it in Godot and it works. We have zoom. Our background is no longer big enough if we are zoomed out. So let's go to our player scene and then the background on it let's change the position let's just do minus 1600 minus a thousand and 3200 by 2000 doesn't matter anything that's big enough is fine and now we have it covered properly and if if you ever try to do a background this way in a real game you'll constantly run into frustrations like this that's why you shouldn't do it but there are times you want to have things attached to your player, so I just want to convey the concept. Okay, so now we are going to do the harder part, which is we're going to need a ready function to do this in. We're going to need a static vector 2 for our maze dimensions. And let's put that with our other stuff, our other variables. And then we also want some pointers to the exit node and the outer walls node. This is because we're going to change the position of the exit based on our dimensions and we're going to change how large the outer walls are based on our dimensions. 
So to make this changeable in Godot, we're going to need a getter and setter. So let's do set maze dimensions and get maze dimensions. And then in our CPP file, let's actually put in our static and we'll initialize it to 11 comma 7 because that's what we had, I believe, in Godot. It's not really going to matter because as soon as you set it once in Godot, then whatever you have in your C file is useless. So, all right, we're going to register our method. And we just called this one underscore ready, so we have that one available now. And then we're going to register property. This we're going to, going to do root class, and then it is of type vector2. We're going to call it maze dimensions in Godot. And then we are going to give it the setter and give it the getter. And then we are going to just pass the default value of maze dimensions. And then our on ready function, uh, let's move it to the bottom. And let's do our getter and setter quick first so that we don't forget about them. So get maze dimensions, return maze dimensions. And then set maze dimensions. Shockingly enough, we will set our maze dimension. So inside of ready, we are going to have to look up nodes and then set the positions and scales. So let's copy the code we had in player and start with that and just modify it. So we want an exit string to find our exit node. And then we also want an outer walls string to find the outer wall node. And then we are going to be looking for exit instead of camera. And we'll set the exit pointer. And it's node 2D. And then else if we want our outer wall string, if that's equal to our node get name, then we will set our outer wall pointer to node 2D of our current child. Now we have the exit pointer, so we're going to set the position of the exit. And we're just going to create a vector 2. Our position we want 128 times our maze dimensions uh, minus 3 for the outer walls and then one inside of it. And we want that for both the x and y. And then we're going to copy the same thing again because we're going to look for the north, south, east, and west walls. We don't need to define any variables this time. We just need to reset them. Uh, and our strings need to be north, south, east, west. 
We also need to change these owners to P outer walls. So we're getting the children of outer walls and then the child count of outer walls. Now our strings north and then we want southeast west. And then let's check if if that's the correct name. Uh, we called them north wall, west wall, etc. So let's add the wall into the string so that we find it correctly. All right, and then we have our child count, we have our children, we need to set our node inside the loop to be outer walls child instead of the owner child. And then we need to, if we're in north, we're gonna do a node 2D pointer We're just going to temporarily have a node 2D pointer to do all the stuff instead of constantly casting and making a mess. So we want to set the scale for our north wall that we found. We want the scale to be maze dimensions x in the x direction and 1 in the y direction. And then we are going to copy paste this. And let's copy paste it a couple more times. And I'm bad at copy pasting, but whatever. All right, now we are ready. So we have north correctly done. We need south. It does the same thing, but we also need to change the position for south. So wall set position and then a vector two. Minus 128 for the X and 128 times maze dimensions minus three, minus two, sorry. And then for east and west, we want the scale to be one comma maze dimensions y. And we, we want west to be the one that we don't change the position for because west is already in the right position. And then east, we need to change the position. So on east, we need the position to be 128 times maze dimensions x minus 2, and then I'm a negative 128 for the y. And I believe that should be all that we need to do. It builds, and let's see, we have our maze dimensions variable we can change. So let's change the dimensions and see if it worked. And our box is bigger. And then we can set it back down to a smaller dimension so that it's quicker to walk to the exit. 
warte, 